So, earlier today, my brother let me know there was an announcement, apparently, that Lando Calrissian, my favorite non-force user, you, my non, my favorite non-force wielding Jedi, er, my favorite non-force wielding character, is going to have his own show, and the reason why he's my favorite, oh, like, the main reason why he's my favorite non-force wielding character in Star Wars, before I get into this article by Cinnamon, Cinnamon, Cinna, Cinema Blend. The reason why, or at least I feel like most of the reason why, Lando is my favorite character is because, or I was less non force sensitive, non force wielding, is because on TikTok, I have the Star Wars OC. You guys don't know what the OC stands for. OC stands for original character. So I have this Star Wars OC named named Nemo Calrissian. I got the name from my cat that my sister named from uh got the name from Funny Nemo. Calrissian, you can probably tell, okay, it's most likely related to Daniel Calrissian somehow. So I was in this Star Wars group called the Resistance AU, which I left because there were peop some people in there being toxic, and I, uh, and there was like, they, like, when there, there was this issue, they were f so focused on making that issue bigger than resolving, resolving that issue with the, every party that was included. And I figured, okay, this is not the group for me. I'm going to go out. But in that group, I have made three characters. Darth Asriel, Nemo Calrissian, and Riku Calrissian. Riku Calrissian and Nemo Calrissian were like twin brothers. But they were, and in some cases, like, I had a plan where like some cases Nemo Calrissian would potentially like go to the dark side. And become Darth Asriel, but get put into the light. Other cases, Riku Calrissian will get will turn to the dark side, become Darth Darth Asriel. But he's like doesn't get put out to the light. The only reason why Darth Asriel and Riku Calrissian were created is so Nemo Calrissian could potentially have that. His own personal rivalry, per se, if that makes sense. Anyways, because, yeah, Nemo Calrissian being my main OC. My main original character. He is the son of Lando Calrissian. And I met a person who had cosplayed Lando... Uh, at C2E2 this year. I'm trying... The reason why I am on my phone at the moment is because I'm trying to look it up. Uh. Yeah. Lando. It's the Dino Glover person Lando. And the reason why I'm bringing him... Land, Dino Glover's person Lando... In here. It's because. I. My brother. Like I said earlier. My brother told me. That. Lando Calrissian is going to have his own TV show. And it appears to be. Based off the. Uh, Billy D. Uh, the, not Billy D. Williams. The. Uh, the Donald Glover. Uh. Version. So let's read it, shall we? There's a new Star Wars rumor, so this is rumor. I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but this this new Star Wars rumor that Donald Glover may return as Lando 
for Disney Plus. The Star Wars universe is filled with many theories and rumors. Yes. Yes, it is. As it is filled with oddball creatures and it is never obvious to know what will or won't pan out. Except when it comes to the uh, Rise of Skywalker rumors or leaks because they were right, unfortunately, because uh, Rise of Skywalker was kind of disappointing. So with well, the last shot I played. Yeah, it, last Rise of Skywalker was a disappointing ending to the Skywalker trilogy, or saga. But anyways, since virtually anything is possible at this point, but a new rumor has surfaced that has me a little perplexed. That has me all okay. Though still quite excited about uh, prospects of his potential legitimacy, Donald Glover is reportedly being sought to reprise his solo A Star Wars Story role of Lando Carissian for a new Disney Plus TV series. That's a gobsmacker of sentence, no doubt. Gobsmacker, okay, I never heard that word. And awesome, as awesome as the concept on paper is, it's not necessarily the most likely project to join Disney Plus second wave of Star Wars TV shows. The rumor comes from the Kessel Run Radio podcast, latest installment, though it's noted during the clip below that while it's supposedly in talks for becoming a reality, it is not confirmed it's not a confirmed project by any means at this point. After all, the multi hype hinnit I'm probably pushing that word, Daniel Glover always seems to be working on one thing or another, from Disney's reimagining reimaginings to Marvel projects to award winning FX shows to award winning music. So it's not like he's oozing free time, especially if we get that community movie that seems more possible than ever. Didn't even know there was going to be a community movie. I mean, that's the first time I've ever seen Donald Glover in. And I know he was in the Lion King reboot that was last year. I prefer him as Lionel Carissian than Simba because, let's face it, the Lion King reboot Yeah, both Solo Star Wars Story and the uh, Lion King reboot were not needed. But if I had to choose one to take away from existence, it would have to be the Lion King reboot. Regardless of how I feel about the new version of Just Can't Wait to Be King. I will have to pick Lion King to go bye-bye. But anyways... That said, Glover is also the kind of extremely talented superstar that could single-handedly keep Star Wars flashbacks projects relevant if the Lando TV show ever happens. So it's okay to keep hope alive in this case. So is he's going to be a flashback? What? Okay. Oh, there's more, there's more, there's more. We know that Alden Ehrenreich is technically up for another Star Wars project if it's a proper fit, so perhaps fans could see his Han Solo once again, if only for a cameo role on TV. Wouldn't it be amazing if Disney Plus brought in Solo's ousted directors, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, to work on the TV series and to fully develop some sort of Lando concepts they intended to use to the film? The sound, this sounds about as realistic as Uncar Plutt getting his own quarter portion of a TV show, but it would be awesome all the same. Now, granted that I didn't exactly mind Lando in Solo A Star Wars Story, I... I'll let, if you guys want to see the rest of, uh, uh, read the rest of this article from Cinnamon, Cinema blend, then yeah, well, I just said the site you can go to. 
I'm not... I don't, I'm not hating on Len, uh, Bill, uh, Donald Glover's version of Leno Carissian. I think he did fine in the role. Of course, Billy D. Williams will always be the Leno Carissian for me. Always. I don't care who they put in the role. But Billy D. Williams will always be the Leno Carissian for me. And it's literally on my bucket list to meet Billy D. Williams. Because he played the original Lano Carissian. And yeah. It's on my bucket list to meet. Donald Glover. Because he also played Lano Carissian. I recently bought. Like not bought bought. But you know how. In, uh, in Star Wars Battlefront 2. They. Uh, They have credits, which is like in-game money. So I bought this skin for Lando Carizian recently. Sounds a lot like Donald Glover too. So I kind of now go back and forth between the Donald Glover and uh and the uh, Billy D. Williams Landos. What I think of the solo Star Wars movie before. I thought it was fine. I didn't think it was needed, but it was fine. What did I think about Lando's portray? I mean, Talano Glover's Land uh, portrayal as Lando. Again, as I said before, I don't mind Donald Glover's portrayal as Lando. I really don't. I think he did good. He, the Donald Glover. Uh, first and off, Lando was fine. What I mean, the only thing was, yeah, I, I I haven't seen the movie in a while, so I might have to look rewatch it just for this one scene. But I heard, but a lot of people were complaining about the whole when L three, which is like the most annoying character in the solo movie, died. He kissed, uh, Lando kissed her. I don't remember seeing that, so I will have to watch that movie again, which is on Disney Plus now, just to see this kiss, if that ha actually happened. And if it did, because I'm not saying it didn't, I just, like I said, I haven't seen the movie in a while, so there's going to be some things that I forget, and if this is an actual thing, I clearly forgot about that kiss. But I think Lan uh, Donald Glover slash Lando Carissian were two. So that's one. You can combine them if you want or keep them separate. Lando and Donald Glover were two really good, solid things of Solo A Star Wars Story. And being able, if I am able to, if... Lando does have a show. That would be pretty cool. Now, the question is, will this be like an eight-part series and then maybe leading up to a Lando Calrissian movie? I don't know. Truthfully, I always felt like a Lando Calrissian movie would have been better. Like... Should have been, I feel like a Lando Calrissian movie should have been the way they went besides going the whole Han Solo route. Because 90% of people like thing about Solo that I've seen in terms of backlash was it's not Harrison Ford playing Han Solo. So how can you do that to Han Solo was I get that I haven't heard that much about with like that same criticism with the whole Han Solo controversy that I just mentioned with Billy D. Williams and Lando all Aldrin Ehrenreich I felt like did a pretty decent job as Han Solo of course 
Nothing can, can, can compare to Han, like Harrison Ford version of Han Solo, and no one can compare to Billy Dee Williams version of Lando. I mean, Aaron Alderike uh, of as uh, Han. Nobody can compare to like Harrison Ford version of Han Solo, nor to Mark Hamill's Hans, uh, Luke Skywalker, Carrie Fisher's uh, Princess Leia, or. Billy D. Williams, Lano Calrissian. Nobody can compare to those four. Like, like nobody will be as good in those roles as the original characters, in my opinion. Even with Darth Vader, like the voice. In the original trilogy, and uh, Rogue One, and the uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith, and in uh, Rebels, James Earl Jones did Darth Vader. Now, I always said I'm a big fan of The Force Awakens. I mean, that's true, but I meant to say The Force Unleashed. I've always been a fan of The Force Unleashed. More so the first one than the second one. Even though I do think that the second one is good, I just felt like the storyline should have been a bit longer for the Force Unleashed 2. But anyways, I always said I like those two games. And I was always fine with the person who did that Darth Vader's voice. But regardless if I'm fine with that guy doing Darth Vader's voice, even then, I still would prefer James Earl Jones. I mean, if somebody tells me, oh, we're going to do a Darth Vader uh, movie. Great! I, I mean, as long as you don't fuck up Vader's character out, I'm great. Oh, well, we're going to have a different actor to play Darth Vader besides James Earl, Earl Jones. I'll say, I mean, it would be a foolish move to not use James Earl Jones while he's alive, I mean, look at The Lion King. He is one of the best things about The Lion King reboot. Even though I dislike the reboot version. I got criticized the rebooted version. But James Earl Jones is one of the better parts. Or get the guy who played Darth, like, voice Darth Vader in uh, Star Wars theories. Vader film. Fan film. But, I gotta see, I gotta see now. I gotta see now. Okay. Star Wars news. Because I typed in Star Wars news, that's what I did. Jeez, so Enforce is talking about the rumor. Empire is talking about the rumor. CBR is talking about the rumor. Dark Side of the Force, so I didn't even know that was a kind of thing. Website, in terms of website, talked about it. Co coming soon, it, talking about it. Digital Trend Espanol. Screen Rant, which is what I was looking at. So, yeah. All. Yeah, so this is a pretty big rumor, and I, I'm i kind of nervous that they might screw Lando up, but at the same time, I can't help because I have a Star Wars OC that is Lando's son. I can't help be excited at the same time, so I'm costly excited. I mean, no matter how I feel about the sequel trilogy as a whole, no matter how I feel about Solo in general, or the terrible Resistance shows, I felt, feel like it's terrible. I feel like Disney has released some good Star Wars content. Clone Wars Season 7. Mandalorian, uh, so far season one, hopefully season two will be 
even better than the first one. See what I mean? And even though this is part of the sequel trilogy, The Force Awakens. And I'm saying The Force Awakens because, yay, even though it was a rehash of A New Hope, I don't meant that. But it was a good setup for what the sequel trilogy could have been. It set up multiple great story arcs that both episode 8 and 9 could have went, but didn't go in. And Rebels. So, yeah, it... And Rogue One, I forget if I said Rogue One. So, hopefully, leave this whole Lando thing, if this is, comes to be true. Hopefully, this whole Lando show series will be good. Again, Lando is my favorite non-force sensitive character. So, if this does happen, I my expectations will be high. I have no doubt that Land Bill, uh, Donald Glover can pull it off. I mean, he pulled it off in Solo. I have no doubt that he can do it again in uh, his own series. When would this solo uh, Lando thing happen? Like, shortly before the events of uh, Solo Star Wars Story? Or is it like, picks up like pretty much right afterwards? Because you can't really do it like too much into like the original trilogy. And the thing is, this kind of dangerously, like, this plays into like dangerous waters of are they planning on rewriting the original trilogy? Because I did hear rumors like a month ago month or two ago, that they're planning to rewrite the original trilogy. And that's kind of scary, because even though the... Yeah, I... My favorite trilogy of the three trilogies that we have is the prequels. In my opinion, even though the prequels are my favorite, the original trilogy is the best. So, I'm kind of nervous, like, are they going to reboot, try to reboot the original trilogy? Is this their way of trying to reboot the original trilogy? Because if this, if this is their way of trying to reboot the original trilogy, then I don't want this show to happen. No matter how big of a fan I am of Lando, I don't want this show to happen if they're going to try to reboot the uh, original trilogy. I'm all for rebooting the sequel trilogy and say what you will about their first six movies no matter what ha your issues are with the prequels or originals at least they both trilogies had a plan the sequel trilogy didn't so I'm more willing to have the sequel trilogy get rebooted than the prequels or the originals but so yeah, I'm on one hand I'm excited. On the other one I'm like Okay, yeah, I don't know how to feel exactly about this. But that's just me. So what do you guys think about this news? Or rumors, I should say. Would you guys be hope for a Lando Calrissian series? Or would you not be so much? Or are you like Ian like, about it? Like, you would give it the first season a chance, but you're not really like hyped up about it, but not hate on it at the same time. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for joining and watching me talk for 24 minutes. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be careful out there. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you guys later. Love you all. And have a nice day.